Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 59, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Uh, although, honestly, it should be called As the Ebon Hawk Turns, or Days of Our Starships, or something. I don't know. Because there was some drama at the end of the last one. We, we just charged in, you know, uh, some rival gang came. They're mad about us taking the space. They, they invaded my ship. Uh, I had to show them what happens to people who invade my ship. A and uh, once that was over, we get a montage of the crew being all special towards each other. And not the right kind of special, neither. Uh, so I think today is going to be a trip around the decks and we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna talk to all the crew and, and I should probably start as much as I want to just start with one side and go the other. I should probably start with the two people that I saw in all those visions and, uh, all right, I can't finish fixing him yet. Where's T3? Okay, no, he's running around. What? How is he running around after that? Deet deet. Whatever that means. Um. Oh, da, da. All right, let's try to do an upgrade real quick while we got the option. It is based off of my computer skills. All right. Did we manage an upgrade on him? I hope so. I want to say we get three upgrades on him. Uh, finally, maybe he'll be a little more useful around here. No. All done. How do you feel? I assume that means good. Due to your computer skills, T3 has gained an additional plus one intelligence and plus one wisdom. Sweet. Please tell me I, you're not going to shut up and move on. All right. Uh, it was strange. I felt detached. It was like meditating there for a second. Uh, I had other questions for you. All right. Um... I'm not going to do a repair check on him. Uh, I'm not going to ask for... Okay, uh, we've already been through all those. Okay. Let me go. Can you upgrade an item for me? All right. Um, well, let's see if I can get him to upgrade the war sword, right? No? No, no, only the edge and the grip can be upgraded. All right. Right now it's got the improved Moline edge, which gives it a better crit range and a bonus to damage. Ooh. All right. I like the extra threat range, which is always nice by having Keen. That doubles the critical, th the, the roll for... Or the range of numbers, that's a critical hit. I'll spit it out correctly uh, next time, earlier in a stream. <laughs> uh, so that gets me a range of plus one to four bonus damage slashing. Or I could get a flat bonus of three. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold off while I think on these things. All right. All right, is there anything to mess with around here? No. I kind of hate how everything's got those uh, repair struts too. All right. Let's start with... All right, we already did T3. Let's talk to Atten. Uh, does the security... Cargo hold. 
No. Oh. I, I didn't realize that I had uh, security cameras everywhere. Nice. I should remember that. Main old medical bay. Port dorm. Starboard dorm. Huh. Okay. Hmm. All right, Atten. Something up. Uh, I had some questions All for right. you. What did you want to know? I met someone on Narshada who says he knows you. Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? Um. Is there anything you want to tell me, or he says you're not Atten after all? Let's try. Let's try the nicer route. Is there anything you want to tell no, me? No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Um. I just wanted to know. No harm meant. Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it. Especially for an ex-Jedi. Or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather Dude. than asking about it? Chill. Alright. Perhaps pain. Maybe I will. If you got a problem, let's settle it right now. You know what? I helped you get off, Paragus. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. Uh, why are you trying to protect me? I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. Uh, I just want to know where you were before you arrived on Nar Shada. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about mm -hmm. Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? Much anger in this one. You've got one. plenty of lies mm. to answer for. All you Jedi do. My powers give me the right? No, that's not a good one. Uh, if you got a question, then ask. I did a lot I wasn't... Okay. We'll, we'll go with I did a lot I wasn't did proud of. you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Dude. Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Uh... It wasn't like that, or go on, let's hear it all. <laughs> Might makes right. Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off. Dude. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor, they deserved oh. it. Oh. Every last one of them. Oh, they deserved it. Every last one of them. Um. All right, there's got to be some reason why. Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or kindness they do, you Dude. can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. Uh... Try to defend the Jedi. The Jedi, the Sith, you don't get it, do you? To the galaxy, they're the same thing. Just men and women with too much power, squabbling over religion while the rest of uh, us Could burn. I get a crane to At remove the, the chip from his shoulder? Killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, Yikes. it's only so you can suffer more. Much anger I sense in this one. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. All right, let's try to poke a little bit more. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've done one thing you've liked since we left Paragas. Uh, why not? It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. 
You served in the war? Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. Um... I didn't know you served with the Republic. I did, up until the Republic officers began to betray their oaths to the Republic and side with Revan, Admiral Kareth, Mon Halan, General Darid, oh. and all the rest. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors, because it was the right thing to do. <laughs> the Republic was weak. You are right to turn from them. No. Uh, the Republic did not deserve your loyalty. Not any longer. No. I'm not going to go with the oath thing, because I, 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 you know, something, something speck in my own eye. All right, so let's just go with, uh, that was wrong. He answered war with war. No, it wasn't. We needed the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars. More than anything, the Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, mm. when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. I do need to and look up the what the basilisk war droids are. the fire to the Zoxan plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war, and we would all be Mandalorian oh. slaves or corpses. That is true. <laughs> Instead, you all became Sith. The Republic deserved to be betrayed. Uh, let's go with no. That's no reason to start another war. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. Uh, do you want to talk about after it? After Malachor, after the Mandalorian Wars, that's when the Sith teachings Ooh. started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay, to the Jedi who came to help us. Not the ones who sat back on Dantooine and Coruscant, watching us die. So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. Uh -oh. I fought back. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to insult him by going, the idea of you fighting a Jedi is ridiculous. I'm not going to go, you fought the Jedi? Let's just go with how. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say mm. killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No Is blasters, that like killing a no wizard? getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's Ooh, ways of gassing that's dirty. them, drugging them, making them lose control, torturing them. I was really good at it. What's you're on worse my ship? is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. Yikes. Uh, you make it sound easy. I taught myself techniques it's hard for jedi techniques. to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings lust impatience cowardice most jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper hmm. and i was good at that throwing up walls and my superiors knew it sometimes the jedi on our side wouldn't even realize i was there uh yikes uh, is that why you act the way you do? That seems unusual. Let's go with us. Uh, ooh. Is that why you act the way you do? Part of it. Maybe it was always me. It's hard to tell sometimes. I haven't known who I am for years. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars, so you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real mm. battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. That was the only battle that mattered. Um, what do you mean? Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads, whose duty was to oh. go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Uh, capture, not kill? Yeah, Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see his side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them, and then have them join him. Ooh. Um, but you're here now. Why? One day, I decided not to do it anymore, so I left. 
ended up on Nar Shada, became someone else. Uh, you took a risk, like I care that you killed Jedi? I don't. Now, uh, why are you telling me this? Because you've killed Jedi too. Different circumstances, but you have a bigger body count than I ever did. And I've been I with do? you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long to live. Hey, hey, history. hey. Everybody has Everyone stayed alive since I started this game. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set straight. Maybe you understand. Uh, I need some time to think about this, but why did you leave the Sith? Well, there was a woman, a Jedi. Yeah, there's always a woman. She, she gave her life for mine. Uh, who? I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying, of course, or I think she was. It doesn't matter. She told enough truth to get my attention. Uh, are you sure she was lying? Maybe she did want to save you. Maybe. It doesn't matter. She knew the right things to say. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the Unknown Regions. Mm. And when we captured she was doing Jedi, something with her they unknown were sent regions? to a place designed to break them. And that anyone in oh. his service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too. To turn them. To break them into Dark Jedi. Or assassins trained to kill Jedi. She said that's what would happen to me. That I had the Force inside me. That's why I was so good at killing Jedi. And that when the Sith learned of it, there would be no escape. No turning back. I would become an instrument of the dark side. Forever. I had heard talk in the ranks. Troops vanishing. I knew what she meant. But I didn't believe her. Or want to believe her. Uh, so what did you do? I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. I hurt her a lot. Oh. And then... Right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force, in my head. And I felt everything she felt. And I heard just an echo of what the Force was, and how what I was doing, I think I loved her. But it wasn't that kind of love. It was the kind of love where you're willing to give up everything for someone you don't even know. Um... That's what it means to be a Jedi. Perhaps you felt a greater good to be served with your salvation. Yeah, let's go with that one. Maybe. It doesn't matter. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. Oh. But before she Yikes. opened her mind to mine, my only thought was that I would love to kill her. And at the end, I killed her because I loved her. Uh, so what happened? In the end... She sacrificed herself to keep my secret. To prevent the Sith from knowing about that touch of the Force inside me. She wasted her life to save me. Me. And I felt her die when she opened her mind. Ooh. I've killed Jedi, That's like tough. I said. But I was never there to feel it. To be on the receiving end. And after that, I couldn't stop feeling things. Before, guilt, lust, impatience. It had been orchestrated to get close. Now it all just kept tumbling out, and I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So I left. I fled with the displaced war veterans to Nar Shaddaa, and I lost myself there. Until the war came to an end. Okay. I wanted no well, more now I know Jedi, get the or Dark Jedi, planet -sized or the Force. Chip in your shoulder. I just wanted to be left alone. And then, I met you on Paragus. And I thought, maybe, maybe she had saved me so that I could help you. And if I can't, then I have to try. Uh, then I welcome your help. I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something happens, I can't let you think I was doing it for something other than the past. Uh, I welcome your help and your honesty. Once, a Jedi showed me the Force. I heard it. I felt it. At the time, there was too much pain to confront it. Because if I did, it meant I would be changed into something else. Now... I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I think that by learning hey. how to use it, I can help protect you. Or at least buy you some time when disaster comes screaming in. Hmm. I want to learn how to use the Force. I want to learn how to use the Force to help you. Uh, then I will train you. What must I do? Is there some, some ritual or... Just close your eyes and open your mind. 
You must learn to feel it around you. Feel its currents and eddies. Listen to the echo of your thoughts, your heart, separated from war, separated from hate. Think of what you felt when you felt the need to help me, to protect me. And at last, awaken. Dun, dun, dun. Now I can catch him up on levels. He's taken his first step on the path of a Jedi Sentinel. And I still want to sing the chorus to Judas Priest Sentinel. I know, I know, another old song. Uh, he will grow in ability as he travels with you and learns what you know of the Force. Ta-da! Light side points gained, influence gained. I am now back to light side mastery. Whew, good. Um, I still need to get... Alright, so now... Why do I have the Handmaiden Staff all of a sudden? And... Oh, the Flex Heavy Armor... I'm going to have to go get the handmaiden equipped, aren't I? All right. Uh, ooh. That brings up an interesting conundrum, too. All right. I can't level him up yet, but good. Uh, I, I That's why I've been holding him off from uh, level 8 or so. I kind of wish I had left him back a little bit further, uh, like level 5, but hey, you know. Uh, so now I can start cranking him up on Jedi Sentinel levels. Uh but I really do want to get him back to, um... Oh. That's gonna... Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to think about equipment. Because now when I start giving him some armor armor, it's going to interfere with his ability to do force uh, maneuvers. Unless I pick armor... Or unless I pick, um... Uh, powers that don't interfere with that and I'm going to have to re-equip his blasters. They're gone for some reason. Alright, he's fine. I still got to get him leveled up. Why is... Flex Heavy Armor, Handmaiden Staff. I should probably get some sort of ranged something or other for her too. Uh, nope, nope. That I wanted to put on Atten, because he is my gun specialist. I do need to level up the droid. I gotta do something with Vizis, too. I haven't equipped her with anything. I meant to do that in between and just slipped my mind. Alright, um, yeah, because he's got the will save plus two. Let's give him that. As much for the dex as for anything else. All right, sweet. So we, uh, I'll I'll call that some worthwhile headway for with Atten. We finally achieved one of our uh, goals. Let me go ahead and save that real quick. Now here's the thing. I know I need to talk to Korea too. Uh, but we're already 23 minutes in. That thing with Atten took a, a little while longer than I was expecting. And this is kind of part of why I, I seem to have run long on these episodes. So, let me, um... Oh, I thought that would have healed her. Alright. Um, let me insert a cut, so that way the YouTube episode will end, but the stream will continue for one more go-round. And I'll make uh, Korea the main focus of the next episode, and then we'll see what I get time left for after that. All right, give me just a minute. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any 
questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.